That's right, it's time for another episode of Poke Openings, and today, as you can see in front of me, I have the Team Skull Pin Collection. Now, this is a box I've actually kind of wanted for quite a while, um, and I'm not going to lie, it's completely because of that really cool pin over there. And um, I guess the, the GXs that come with it, pretty cool. Also, the box is genuinely really cool, so we'll quickly take a look. You've got the packs there, you've got the uh, full cards, the two promos and the two hollows. We've got the pin, of course. Uh, that's what it says on the side. It, it's up, upside down, but that doesn't really matter. We have the uh, Team Skull logo there, which I've got to say, out of all of the um, villain teams of Pokemon, that's actually one of the nicest looking. And of course, this is the description if you want to have a read. And of course, uh, below it also mentions what we get. We have uh, two Jaxes and two Hollows. So. I'm going to go crack it open, I guess, uh, and we'll delve in to the world of Alola's biggest gang. Also, uh, I've realised they started doing this, which is the uh, English Team Skull Pin Collection box. It usually says international, so I don't know what makes this different, but... Ooh! Ooh, okay. We'll take a look at that in a second as well. So, there we have uh, our thing... Oh, man! Even the... Uh, even the plastic outing is the Team Skull logo. That's really cool. Let's put this aside for a second. And just take a look at that. That! Dude, that is really cool. That is such a shame that, like, that's not a slide-out thing. I mean, I might actually open up the box to take a look at that, because that... that It's a shame to throw that away. I'm definitely not going to throw that. I'll be right back. Okay, that right there is a fucking cool backdrop actually i'm gonna leave this up for the rest of the uh video so uh without further ado let's crack this baby open actually let's get a slightly better angle i think it's best to take a look at the packaging like this and then we'll go back down to the pack opening so and let's open up the plastic throw that to one side and grab the card so we'll begin with the uh two gx's that make this set kind of worth getting. We have a uh, Salazzle GX, looking pretty cool. And that is the promo number. It is indeed SM63. And we've got the Galissapod GX. Now this card, I mean Galissapod in general, his design is super cool. Uh, definitely one of my favorites from Sun and Moon. And he is number 62, coming just before Salazzle GX. So, those are the uh, two promo cards, and of course we do have a Salandit and a Wimpod Hollow. Uh, hang on. And these are the cards. That is Salandit uh, and Wimpod. As you can see, they're both Hollows. Now, these aren't promos. These are, however, alternative Hollows from the set, I believe. Meaning that, you know, they still kind of come, because they've got the cool wavy Hollow effect that uh, a few other cards recently I've noticed have. And of course, we have five packs. We have a Breakpoint, a Breakthrough, an Evolutions, uh, not wild on that one, but wherever. We have an Ultra Sun, <laughs> Ultra Sun? We have a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, and we have a second pack of Burning Shadows. And of course, I've left the best thing to last. This really darn cool badge. Now, I'm a sucker for, um, basically physical representations of, um, you know, the teams in Pokemon, because we don't get them many, uh, much, apart from, you know, Team Rocket, obviously. So that is really darn cool. It's just a shame that these pins, you can't really put them on many things because they come off super easy. But that is definitely going to take pride of place in my pin collection. These are the injuries I go through opening Pokemon cards on YouTube. So, okay, we have five packs. Now, uh, as I stated just now, Evolutions is my least favourite, so I'm going to go ahead and open that first. We'll do a breakthrough, we'll do a breakpoint, and then we shall end with the Burning Shadows. I also have, to my side, two Burning Shadows uh, sleeves, just in case we do pull something particularly nice. Now, in terms of Evolutions, I don't have anything in mind I'd like really. I've got most of the cards. I have two of the secret rares actually, although from what I hear the secret rares are incredibly easy to pull, so it's no real um, achievement there. Let's put three to the front and begin 
with a poly whirl. I really like that art actually. We have a full heel. Porygon, oh yeah, that's another card I actually really like. Electabuzz, Rattata, Growlithe, we have Nidoran Mail. Our reverse is not the next card. Vulpix is our next card, but our reverse is Ponyta. Yay! Super, super uh, shiny hollows from this. Uh, hollows? Reverse hollows. And our rare is a Mewtwo, I'm calling it. Yo! Yo, no, it's not. Okay then. We got a Slowbro EX. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I've definitely not pulled this card from this set. That's. Ah, Slowbro EX is like one of my favourite EXs. He looks super derpy, but like. Ah, okay, that's actually really cool. I didn't expect anything major from Evolutions. I underestimated it, and look where that got me. And that's the uh, number. Just checking it's not kind of secret rare. It's not because there's no texture to it, but still. Okay, we're off to a darn good start here. Let's see if we can keep that up with the next pack of, wrong one, of Breakpoint. Let's see. Uh, in terms of Breakpoint, I guess, kind of like Evolutions, I'd just like to pull an EX or something. Although I pulled an EX now, so let's not push the boat out. Let's, you know, let's wish for... A hollow. A hollow would be nice. Right? That's that's why you guys watch Pokemon opening videos. To watch people get hollows. Uh, this is three to the front as well. Alright, sorry about that. I uh, just got a phone call. Um, well timed. So, uh, we begin this pack with a slow bro. Actually quite fitting for the last EX. Uh, we have a stamp. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool artwork. I don't think I've opened many of the break packs. I kind of took a bit of a break from the series, actually. <laughs> no pun intended. Anyway, uh, we've got a Swanna. Ooh, Hypno. That's a... Man, Hypno, you are right. You're like... You're going through some stuff, my dude. Uh, we have a Spritzy. Spritzy. Uh, Timple. Ah, oh, Clefairy. That's actually quite a cute Clefairy, although slightly creepy as well. What the hell is that in the background? I... Is that a Hypno? That looks like a Hypno. What is going on in that picture? Is this... Is this linked to the, um... That hi that girl that mentioned the Hypno in Fire Red and Leaf Green? Uh, we have a Chikorita looking quite concerned at that cake there. Ooh, our reverse is a Sigilyph. I'm very happy with that. Sigilyph is one of my favourite Gen 5 Pokemon. And our rare. Yo! Okay. Okay, we got a Hollow Aegislash. Very nice. That's two for two. And I did realise actually there's a jump cut between the last pack and this pack. So I completely understand if people are sceptical. I did actually pull that Hollow there. Although if I was going to insert something, I'd insert something a little cooler than the Hollow Aegislash. But I don't know. Anyway, I've realised this thing's fallen. So be right back. There we are, looking much better. Right then, let's get the breakthrough. I'll try not to decimate the pack as much this time. So, we got an EX and a Hollow. Honestly, for the rest of this, uh, the rest of these three packs, I'm really not expecting much. Although, they are from different sets, so technically, I have a different amount of chance to pull, I think. I don't know how statistics work. But, let's begin with a Pillow Swine. A Houndoom Spirit Link. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last video, but a Mega I forgot existed. Spooper! Ah, oh, I really like Spooper actually. The Butterfly line is like fantastic. Really like the whole like gimmick of you know uh, one from each region. We have a Chespin, with a very proud looking farmer in the background. A Bronzo. A Froggy uh, with a. Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, Frogadier in the background. That's nice. Does Frogadier have a Greninja in the background? I wonder. Does Greninja then have a Froggy? Uh, we have Panpo. Yay. Awesome. That really, really cute Cyndaquil art. Uh, seriously, highlight of this set. Uh, we have a reverse Hollow Town map. And I know the next one isn't an EX or a Hollow because we just saw the tip of it. It is a Braviary. Well, you know what, after these last two packs, I don't think that's a bad pull. That's uh, pretty cool. Quite like Bravery. Uh, 
a used one, I think, to take on the Elite Four. So, we've got two packs left, Burning Shadows. Let's start with Tapu Fini and end with Ho-Oh, because Ho-Oh will give us luck to pull a Rainbow Rare. Are there Rainbow Rares in Burning Shadows? Um, if there's not, then we won't. But if there is, we still won't, but, you know, we've got a chance of doing it. So it's four to the front this time, because it's Sun and Moon. Will it be a fire energy? No, it won't. It'll be fighting. Let's be... Oh, Gizma! Hey, hey! There we are, fitting the theme. Ah, see? This is a genuinely really good box. Like, not just because of the pulls, but the pulls help. We have a Ribombi. A Routes. A Charmander. An Alolan Rattata. Porygon. Oh, man! Man, that Porygon art! You have never seen this one before. That's really cool. Uh, we have a Panpo again. Oh my god. Okay, our reverse. No, oh, but we got a Pansage. Good. Our reverse is Pikachu. That like really slim looking Pikachu. The sort of squirrely looking one. Really digging that version of Pikachu actually. Um, and our rare is a Shinotic, uh, which is lovely. It's a big tentacly mushroom. It looks a bit like a Digimon, actually. I'm blanking on what Digimon I mean, because it's like an amalgamation of two different ones. I'm thinking of um, Veda, Vedamon, the one with like the weird brain. Uh, and there's another one that I feel like it's... It's like Vedamon and Lilymon kind of fused, if that makes sense. I'll try and put their images on screen here, uh, because I'm just sounding like a madman now. Actually, it's not going to help my case. I think if I put them on screen, this is just going to make less sense. Right, we are into our final pack. Will Howo bring us luck? Will he bring us luck like he did in Pokemon the movie, I Choose You? Which, I don't know if I mentioned this, uh, but I watched it recently, and it's a really good movie. Like, super digging it. It's, it's one of the best Pokemon movies, for sure. Let's go four to the front. Electric energy. Nope. Okay, then. I wish I was psychic because I'd have known what it was. Buffalon. Wow, his horns are looking really gold. Uh, oh, okay. We've got an Olivia. I would like to pull a full art Olivia. I think we'd all like to pull Olivia, though. Hey, right, lads. <laughs> hey. No? Okay. Uh, we have a Kiawe. Ooh, Venipede. That's a really cool looking Venipede, actually. Horsey, very nice. A cutie fly. Ah, oh, it is both a cute and it can fly. And talking about flying, we have a ladybird which isn't as cute, but can still fly. Unlike a Lolan Grimer, who I'd be surprised if he could fly. Actually, actually, that's really fitting with the uh, with the kind of graffiti background as well. Our reverse is a Tangrowth. Will we finish this video victoriously? Let's see. Yo! Yo, okay. All right, that's that's like multi-level of appropriate there. So hang on, wait. Two seconds. Okay, so not only is this a GX, but it's a super rare GX. Um, it's still within the boundaries of 147, so it's not a secret rare. But not only did I just pull a full art, like super rare GX, but it's incredibly fitting because one comes with the set. Okay then, man, this is my like Salandit themed day. That is really cool. Also, like, controversially speaking, that's a cooler looking card than this one. Not that this is, you know, not very nice, but okay then, that, man, this box was really worth it. Two GXs and a hollow out of five packs. And look, the coolest pin you'll ever see. As always, thank you for watching, and I hope to pull just as good stuff in the next video. Goodbye.